I wanted to quickly talk about some podcasting predictions that I have for 2014 and 2015. My name is Ryan McLean from ryanmclean.net. I run two successful podcasts, one over at positivecashflowaustralia.com.au and one over at publicspeakingpower.com.au. All up, you're talking about more than a thousand downloads per day in some cases. Not every single day, but hopefully eventually I'll be getting there. And so I just wanted to talk about some of the things that I see in podcasting moving forward into 2014 and then as well into 2015. So I've just written down some trends that I think are going to happen. The first trend is an increase in podcast listeners. And so that's your overall market that are now listening to podcasts. Now with our iPhones and now with Stitcher on Androids, we've got a lot of a lot more people now have access to podcasts and not just access to podcasts that they download and listen to after they're downloaded but podcasts that you can stream because internet has gotten so much better people are streaming podcasts on the go they're not necessarily downloading it at home before they go to work and so this has just increased access dramatically and so the easier access becomes the more people are bound to use it and so not only that but cars are now starting to sign deals with places like Stitcher or through iTunes and so they're automatically having these podcasts put into the car itself and so you can download podcasts directly in your car and so the easier they make it the more people are going to do it so I believe that we're going to see the overall market size increase in 2014 and again in 2015 as it just becomes easier and easier to get access to these for every single person. Number two is that we're going to see changing consumer behavior around podcasting and this is going to change uh, for a few reasons. Firstly because people are getting more used to podcasts and how to use them but secondly we're going to see new developments in companies that are coming out with podcast versions of things like Pandora where you choose something that you like maybe it's internet marketing and then it spits out podcast for you and not necessarily all from the one person and so because of this changing consumer behavior people aren't necessarily just listening to one podcast and subscribing to that and people aren't um, aren't listening to just one a week they're listening to multiple every single day and so we'll see this changing consumer behavior where people are consuming more podcasts a more variety of podcasts and they're getting more specific on the content that they want Uh, Trend number three is that I see a changing, a lot of the podcasts will be changing from weekly podcasts, making way for daily podcasts or even multiple times per day, which I'll talk about as the fourth trend. But podcasting is now changing from something that people do on a weekly basis to something that people do on a daily basis. And I know from my experience as a pharmaceutical rep, I would listen to multiple podcasts per day as I was driving between seeing the accounts that I had to see for that day. So a lot of people have launched weekly podcasts because it's a way to extend their brand. I believe they'll find success and they'll find even more success by doing daily podcasts. And at the moment, it seems like iTunes is actually favoring daily podcasts because they're looking at how many downloads have been in the last 24 hours. And so therefore daily podcasts are consistently showing up higher in the search rankings. And so people will catch on to that and people will start doing daily podcasts. Trend number four, which we haven't really seen any of at all, is a move to multiple times per day. At the moment, people are treating podcasting like the internet before Google. They're treating it like something where people come to their website every day or they come once a week and they're saying, well, consumers only want a certain amount of information. But I believe that consumers will become more picky in the information that they get. The search tools like iTunes will become more sophisticated. So rather than me going and subscribing to a podcast, I'll be able to use iTunes like I use Google to be able to find the podcast that I want. And so then for that specific question or specific inquiry that I have. So I believe that people will move to multiple times per day. It's definitely something that I want to do because eventually, and it may not happen for 12 months, 24 months, is that iTunes or whoever comes as the major player will turn into a search engine for podcasts. And so multiple times per day is going to win over because there's more content to be found because people aren't necessarily subscribing, listening to everything. They're just choosing the episodes that they want to listen to. 
And trend number five is what I've already been talking about, which is a podcast search engine. This is something if I had the coding ability or if I had a partner and I had the guts to go out and do it, then I would go out and I would create a podcast search engine based on being able to convert podcasts into written text. So using you know something like Siri or um, you know some sort of voice conversion thing. So we could convert it into text, people could search for it, and it would actually direct them to the exact point in the podcast where they would be able to listen to. So this podcast search engine, I believe, is probably more like 12 or 24 months away because I just believe uh, the computer power and the cost of converting the world's podcasts I think there's over 200,000 of them into text. It's just too expensive at the moment. But as that becomes cheaper, then it's going to become more profitable to have these podcast search engines. It's going to be easier to add in advertisement podcasts. So you're searching, um, you need some internet marketing help. And so then someone's going to pay to have an ad, which is just their podcast, which might be three or five minutes long or whatever, which answers your inquiry, just like Google does it at the moment. So podcast search engine, I think is definitely something that's down the pipeline because it's something that consumers will be able to use. And it's really up in the air whether Google will tackle this or whether iTunes will become the major player in this or whether someone smaller like Stitcher Radio will come up and claim this throne. But you know, things change so much, but that's what I see happening in the future. Uh, last trend, which I've just thought of at the moment, so trend number six is a move to shorter podcasts focused on one specific topic. So what we see at the moment is a lot of podcasts that are interviews um, that range a broad amount of topics. So I might be talking about that person's life or their experience. I believe that people will start chopping interviews or chopping podcasts into specific topics just like they do with blog posts at the moment. So targeting keywords, targeting user inquiries and answering that and answering only that. So they're the trends that I see for podcasting in 2014 and 2015. I believe that podcasting is extremely important. I'm seeing huge results in what I'm doing and I will continue to do it and continue to put focus on podcasting because I just believe it is such a powerful medium and it hasn't yet peaked and it's going to continue to grow. So I'm Ryan McLean from ryanmclean.net and again you can ch check out my two popular podcasts which is positivecashflowaustralia.com.au or publicspeakingpower.com and you can again search them in iTunes or Stitcher just search for Positive Cashflow Australia or just search property investing or just search public speaking and you'll be able to find me. Thanks for listening to this and I will see you again when I have some new trend updates about podcasting maybe in 2014 or 2015 to assess whether my trend predictions were accurate.